afraid I was black. Alive for now. Yeah, maybe some other time, right? Listen, I might have some work to throw you away if you're interested. Pays good. Situation is delicate, though, you understand? You're not going to be allowed to improvise on this one. Yeah? Sure. I'll call you more details if it's a goer. Not again. This has to stop. But I got you a present. It's a notebook for all your brilliant ideas that will change the world. So you never forget. Oh, Lenore, what have I done? Grace, my dear Grace, I wish I could explain everything to you, to help you understand. Radiation, which is energy that's emitted from an object, right? You make a really good teacher, you know that. I will find out who is responsible for this, Grace. Whatever it takes, I promise. Thanks, Dad. Sweet dreams. the money here it's a genuine meeting he's got some plan he thinks you could help out with ask me if i thought it was crazy getting you involved and do you i think you're a man that can be trusted i suppose we'll find out thanks
Dr. Ramsey, you've gone completely off grid this time. Are you safe? I'm safe. Just pull me back out. Searching for you now. Concentrate on the memory you wish to return to. Focus on Howard, Dr. Ramsey. See if you can locate him. This one in the home. Focus and find a way back, Dr. Ali. Howard, Mr. Black. Been a while. Last time we saw each other would have been. Let me see. When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. I've seen this. Why don't you? You were so exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me and my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? I don't understand. How can this be the truth? Every man has his price, Black. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history. Far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I never saw it like that. He was my employee. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price, within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse. You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. This never made any sense. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. There was more. Clever boy, Black. You've got to believe me. Very foolish. However, I will allow you to work for me. Go on. I know you, Howard. We do this your way and people get hurt. So I don't work for you, you work for me. We do it my way and we plan it to the letter. We use my people to head the operation and your men as backup. You'll still have Ramsey's Pandora attack when this is all over. But there's no bloodshed if we can help it. I've seen enough of that to last me a lifetime. So it was you. You. After everything I gave you, everything I did, the opportunities I offered, this is how you repay me. I have been searching 
all this time for the architect of this mess, only to find out he was laying on a slab in front of me the whole time. I should turn off your life support. I should end you. But I'm no monster. Frankenstein, yes. But the monster is you. The monster I created. No. Against my better judgment, there will be no more bloodshed. I think of what my darling Grace would say. What my darling Grace would do. I will turn the other cheek. Transfer you to a secure hospital. And hope you never wake up. Damn you, Black. Damn you to hell! Doctor, I'm getting some very strange readings. Extreme caution advised. You never focused on what was important! Grace? Grace, is that you? I understand now. I understand everything. I know you're there. I know you're watching! You had it all backwards! I know! My child, I... I know I did! Grace! Can you hear me? You had a family that loved you! Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me! How could you get it so wrong? Grace, shit! Grace, if you can hear me, I'm going to show you some things, okay? I'm going to show you how all this came to be. Your mother was right. This was all my fault, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me help you understand. I get it now. This is all because of you. Grace, please. You let us all down. I was a fool. <laughs> You're familiar with this man by now, my love. He protected everything I'd worked to build. Did all the dirty work for me. But I made a terrible mistake. I know this will upset you, and I'm sorry. But your mother and I... We just grew apart. Rose understood what I was trying to accomplish with the Pandora in a way that nobody else could. And I did love her. But I never stopped loving you, Grace. I thought we could finish up a little early today. Go and grab a meal at that new Thai place. Let off a little steam. <laughs> what do you think? If this is going to work out between us, you need to understand that Lenore and Grace will always be part of my life. That's just something you need to accept. You either commit to something, or you end up with nothing. I could.
couldn't commit to Rose because I didn't want to abandon my family. And I couldn't commit to my family because I was too consumed by my work. And Rose was right. I ended up with nothing. I can't live like this any longer. With every day that passes, another little bit of me dies. I know you're too blind to see it, but you did this to her. I can't bear the sight of you, and I refuse to be your wife. I couldn't commit to her. Couldn't give her the love she deserved. But I refused to let her go. And as for you, Grace, my darling daughter, I loved you so much. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent gambling. What on earth is she doing? I just didn't understand what it meant to be a father. All right, you, come here. Although I have no idea what you're saying, and I can say with a reasonable degree of certainty that you have no idea what I'm saying either. I got it wrong, Grace, and I'm sorry. Your mother once said I used you as an excuse to work. I don't know if she was right, but I know I wanted you to be cared for, and I know I wanted you. I wanted you to have a father you could be proud of. I'm sorry. I failed. <gasps> okay, Grace. It's time to finish the session. You've seen everything. Just give me a moment. trying to communicate with me. You said he was dead. He is. All you're seeing is remnants of his consciousness, created by the Pandora reacting to the artificial stimulants flooding his system. It's, it's complicated. I, I need to see what happened to him. S send me back in. Grace, it's not a nice thing for anyone to watch, let alone his daughter. Are you absolutely sure about this? He's my father. I want to know. need to know. Howard. Ramsey. Just relax, okay? There's no need for the gun. Dad. You did this. You are responsible. Put the gun down. Responsible. Let's have a sensible, grown-up conversation. You took my daughter away from me. I did no such my thing. My family. Son of a bitch. My wife. Robert, you need to sit down. <laughs> Let me get you a drink. No! Responsible. Someone needs to pay for this. You've upset a lot of people, Robert. I'm not the only one with a score to settle. So, you admit it. I admit you stole my invention. You admit it. My life's work. Responsible. Claimed by a thief as his own. You did this. So, yes. Add me to the list of people you royally fucked off over the years, Ramsey. But I accept no responsibility for a mess you created. Dad, Dad, don't do it. Dad, Dad please don't do it. Oh. Dad. Dad. 
No. You did this. And I think you already know that's true. Responsible. I didn't. Responsible. It wasn't me. It's okay. It wasn't me. Just give me the gun. And let's put all this behind us. Okay? Responsible. <laughs> simulating my consciousness. I still don't fully understand it even now. But I left it all to you, Grace. I learned from Howard's mistakes. I own the patent, and measures are in place to ensure they can't just replicate it. It needs to be in the hands of someone like you. Someone pure. I love you, my darling. And I'm sorry. talking to you. Grace. Uh, I, I'm fine, Mum. I'm, I'm thinking. Grace, listen to me. I've done everything you asked. All we need is for you to sign a few papers and we can continue where you're... Sweetie, you don't have to make this decision now. You're exhausted. Let's just head home, okay? Grace, talk to me. All you need to do is sign and we'll transfer the money within... You're 20 a piece of work, you know that. Lenore. This is between me and Grace. This isn't anything to How do with you. How fucking dare you! <sighs> I'm in a room with my crippled daughter, my dead husband, and my dead husband's whore! This is everything to do with me! Lenore, this is business. And from what I heard, your dead husband very nearly left you for that whore. You... Stop, stop, please, stop, both of you. Rose, I have a question. Go on. You had me kidnapped. You strapped a bomb to me. You conspired against my father, the man who gave you this opportunity in the first place. Chris, what are you saying? Are you telling me she's responsible for all this? My father may have had his flaws, but he didn't deserve to go through that. He lost his wife. He thought he'd lost his daughter, and he took his own life. His blood is on your hands. My question is this. How does that make you feel? Grace, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure what you saw in there, but the technology isn't perfect and memories can be skewed and manipulated. We've never attempted this on someone in your father's condition before. His condition? Robert's condition? Rose, my husband, is dead! Oh my God, I need to sit down. Lenore, the technology deals in variables, not truths. You wouldn't understand. Bullshit. I understand. I understand perfectly. And I've made my decision. My love. Don't worry, Mum. It's, it's exactly as we discussed. Okay. As long as you're sure. I'm, I'm sure. Go on. I'll take your money, and you can continue my father's work. Oh, my God. Grace, you won't regret this. She signs nothing over. She retains full ownership. Grace gets final say on all decisions. Nothing happens without her knowing it. Of course. Absolutely. One more thing. Grace. It's, it's all right, Mum. I know what I'm doing. What is it? 
You put a team together. You train them up, teach them everything they need to know. Already in place. And then you quit. Uh, <laughs> excuse me? You quit. When I leave here today, I don't want to see you again. I don't want to even hear your name. My father's technology will progress under my guidance, but you will have absolutely nothing to do with it. I really don't think that's going to work out. Those are my terms. Tell your boss. Listen, Grace... Tell your boss. Mum, let's go home. Of course. Grace, wait, uh, come back. Let's discuss this. No, there's nothing more to talk about. Grace! Goodbye, Rose. Bye, Dad. Everything to be said For my heart to be held And I wanted to tell And I needed to say Everything to be said For my heart to be held I don't live my life in doubt I'm always out and about I get mobile in the global No connection, please retry No reception, no required Signal bars and single bars Such a snap for all to smile While away the hours My routine
Okay, Grace, it's time to finish the session. You've seen everything. Just give me a moment. You're right, I, I've seen enough. Technology has no adverse effects that we know of. She'll be absent. I wasn't talking to you. Grace. Uh, I, I'm fine, Mum. I'm, I'm thinking. Grace, listen to me. I've done everything you asked. All we need is for you to sign a few papers and we can continue where you're... Sweetie, you don't have to make this decision now. You're exhausted. Let's just head home, okay? Grace, talk to me. All you need to do is sign and we'll transfer the money within you're 20... You're a piece of work, you know that. Lenore, this is between me and Grace. This isn't anything to How do with you. How fucking dare you! I'm in a room with my crippled daughter, my dead husband, and my dead husband's whore! This is everything to do with me! Lenore, this is business. And from what I heard, your dead husband very nearly left you for that whore. You... Shut up! Shut up, both of you! Mum, I've got this. You put me in this wheelchair. You do realise that, don't you? Well, without you, my parents are still together and my father is still alive. Grace, what are you saying? Are you telling me she's responsible for all Grace, this? Grace, I don't know what you saw. You want her to sign those papers? <sighs> you want her to allow you to work with Robert's technology? Then you don't fucking grace her. To you, she is Miss Ramsey, and you don't speak unless you're spoken to first. Am I making myself clear? Yes. Perfectly clear. Perfectly clear. Miss Ramsey. How many functional headsets do we have? Fully functional. Only one, Miss Ramsey, your father. This one? That's right. No. No! No, Grace! And now you have none. <gasps> do you have any idea what you've just done? This ends today. My father was a misguided man who didn't understand what he was dealing with. And I certainly can't trust you to do the right thing. Going to regret that. No, I won't. Nobody should be obsessing over things they can't change, shutting themselves off from the present. Memories belong in the past, and my father deserves to be dead. You're playing a very dangerous game, Grace. Threats? Oh, how very original of you, Rose. Well, what are you going to do? Kidnap me again? Strap another bomb to me? There is nothing you can threaten me with that's worse than what I've already been through. So fuck the headset, and especially fuck you! 
Let's go home, Mum. Of course. You haven't heard the last of this, Grace. It's Miss Ramsey. And yeah, I have. No, wait! Come back! Let's discuss this! No! There's nothing more to talk about. Grace! Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye... Dad.